Wow, that was epic to see the eyelid is running up and down that base. These girls are talented. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel, diving into the band The Warning, our beautiful trio, the sisters from Mexico, Mexico. Shout out today goes to Will. Thank you for buying me coffees and for your suggestion. I'm going to check out their song, Survive, from their TED Talk in Nevada in 2017. At the time, they were 16, 14, and 12. Keep that in mind. That in itself, just exploring their music and how they have been growing and developing their skill has been impressive. Honestly, that's really, really been impressive. Um, we got Danny, we got Pao, we got Ale. And this is, again, this is their um, Survive at TEDx in, at the University of Nevada. Now, let me make sure I got the right one. Okay, so let's check it out. Here we go. Music is that one companion that will always be there through everything. The one who will know exactly how you're feeling. Music is passion. Music is hope. Music is life. <laughs> we want to thank you all for your time, and we're going to say goodbye with this last song called Survive. You have been warned! There, this was at the University of Nevada TEDx talk. They were 16, 14, and 12. Don't come to me saying that you cared That I was the one who was never there Don't come away your life in the air You keep blaming me and it ain't fair Don't come telling me that you're worried That I'll be hurting if you're gone Don't come to me saying that you're sorry Your words mean nothing, your words mean nothing at all Sorry, I'll go back. This is what you guys, what Will pointed out when he uh, requested it. Her dropping the drums and without issue, just grabbing another one and keeps playing. Amazing. Pao, um, also her vocals. Anytime I hear her sing, I just love the fullness and the strength of her voice. And how she, this is a live performance, how she's hitting those notes clearly, cl with, with clarity on the beat. Phenomenal. And then Ale on the bass, guys. I don't think I give her enough credit or people in general, right? As a singer-songwriter, naturally, my focus will go to the vocal performance, certain instruments too, but uh, I want to make sure that I, you know, address every one of them because they're all so skilled. And Ale on that bass, when you hear those runs in the background, it carries the whole track. If we could just imagine that without the bass, it would change everything. So she just carries that and just runs up and down that bass like amazing. And to think they were 12, 14, and 16, I believe, is what, what you guys said, what I, what I read. So it's just crazy. Talk about young people making a difference. I know you guys have been saying that in the in the comments, there's hope for rock in the future, but it's so precious to see this talent and the passion, these ladies using their gift, creating, showing up at these TED Talks, making something with their life. I just think this should be inspiring to all of us to keep creating and making a difference. Uh, let's go back a bit. And we were gonna be
girl has high heels on. The heck? I do, they do that quite a bit and I love it. It's so catchy and makes for such good songwriting. I said it before, I'll say it again. Those little hooks. Oh, 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 oh. Like they do that kind of like chant like oohs and ahs that is so catchy because it's easy to remember and sing along to. It's perfect for a concert and to get a crowd hype. That was epic to see Donnie rocking out like that, banging her head, just getting on, getting into it hardcore. Faud is going nuts on the drums. Ale is running up and down that bass. These girls are talented. And it was so cool, that solo and that build, because it fits so well to the idea of surviving. Uh, their songs, I'm not going to go deep into the lyrics today, but I think the song and the lyrics are fairly self-explanatory. Different ways, of course, to interpret that based on what you've been through and what you associate with survival. But I think their lyrics are often just so relatable and written and very written well because they're understandable. They are singable, right? And they're memorable, but also they can be interpreted in different ways. It's not so complex that you don't know how to interpret it and where to even begin. Um, and that's fine too when songs are like that because they're just so poetic and deep. They're clear enough to remember and to understand, but then they're also poetic and well written enough to interpret in different ways. They're so talented, guys. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for the suggestion, and I'll see you on the next ride. Ayo! Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. See ya. Bye.